Deutsche Bank fires 18,000 people. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, I'm Florian Heiser and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. I have my Stein of coffee, still from this morning, and I just noticed something in the media that I, th I thought I had to talk about and make a quick video on the fact that Deutsche Bank is axing 18,000 people. 18,000 people. So, staff around the world, including Sydney, New York, and London offices. 18,000. That's a lot of people. It's a lot of people. What does that tell you? You know, what confidence does that scream to you about, well, their business, the future of their business, or the current state of it, or their planning? Let's have a look. Deutsche Bank has axed staff from around the world as part of an $18,000 purge in a 7.4 billion euro 11 billion australian reinvention process reinvention process yeah staff at the german bank's london office were reportedly told to clear their desks by 11 a.m with many hitting the pub holding white envelopes caning containing their redundancy notices oh boy wow other workers were in tears after being told to pack up their things just hours after the bank dropped the bombshell announcement the German bank plans to close all of its equity trading business and cut some parts of its fixed income operations in an overall expected to lead to 18,000 job cuts. The bank's Australian Equities Division, which has offices in Sydney, Melbourne and Perth, will be impacted in the global axing. But the cuts are expected to have the largest impact on the bank's New York and London offices. I was terminated this morning. There was a very quick meeting and that was it, said one London IT worker who left while Deutsche Bank chief executive Christian Sewing was inside the building doing a call with the media. Well, there you go. I mean, that shows you how valuable, valuable you are to these big organizations, to these big banks. That just shows you guys, you know, few staff wanted to speak outside the bank's London office. The trade was picking up in the nearby Bald Brothers bar around lunchtime. Well, yeah, it would. That's when the truth would come out. I mean, on your last day of working anywhere, you know, if you're either fired or sacked or if you're pretty much just laid off like this, made redundant, you go have a beer. You go and have a beer and you, you know, you dwell on the whole exciting world of future opportunities that await you, really. But the thing is that you know, people devote their lives to big companies like this, uh, particularly younger women. They'll they'll give up, give up their most fertile years for a career with the bank or Deutsche Bank or any other organization or Apple. They'll freeze their eggs and all this thing. Or and young men will spend no time with their children and never get to know them because they're working insane hours and devoting it all to this organization. And they'll be cut like nothing. So... I got laid off. Where else would I go? Said a man who'd lost his job in equity sales. Yeah. Sorry to hear. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's a bit gut wrenching there. The poor people are getting fired. Um, it, it is. I, f I feel for them. I feel for them. But it just shows you that where, you know, the state of how things are going. This uh, Australia, okay, we've got issues. And our unemployment rate is trending up. It's trending up here. So I feel for these people. Shares in Deutsche Bank, which prior to the cuts had over 90,000 staff worldwide, were down 6.1% late yesterday, and its bonds also fell. Staff in its equity division in Sydney and Hong Kong were among the first to be told their roles would go. If you have a job for me, please let me know, said a banker leaving the Hong Kong office on Monday. Staff leaving in Hong Kong were also seen holding envelopes with the bank's logo. Three employees took a picture of themselves beside a Deutsche Bank sign outside, hugged, and then hailed a taxi. They give you this packet and you're out of the building, said one equities trader. The equities market is not that great, so I may not find a similar job, but I have to deal with it, said another. At the bank's Wall Street office, staff impacted by the cuts were summoned to the cafeteria to learn of their fate. A notice inside the building's lobby told staff the cafeteria would be closed until 11.30 Eastern Standard Time. Hundreds of staff were informed during the meeting their positions were being cut. All oh, oh, hundreds. A mass layoff. Wow. Sources within the building told Reuters. They also received details of their redundancy. One source said staff could be seen saying goodbye to colleagues upon leaving the cafeteria. 
Speaking outside the bank's office, one employee told Reuters the cuts had been anticipated for weeks. Okay, so they knew this was coming. People have been planning their next move, but it's a tough market, the person said, speaking on condition of anonymity. Another employee who asked not to be named said the bank held a short meeting in its auditorium at 9.30 to inform staff of the cutbacks. He said he was later handed an envelope informing him of his redundancy. The staffer said he and his colleagues had known the impending cuts were likely for the past couple of weeks. Well, there you go, 18,000 jobs. That's, that's insane. Some of the roles will be cut immediately, while some staff will be kept on for longer while they help wind down operations. A Deutsche Bank employee in um, Benguala, uh, good luck saying that, Florian, told Reuters he and several colleagues were told first thing, first thing their jobs were going. We were informed that our jobs had become redundant and handed over our letters and given approximately a month's salary. He said, only a month's salary? Okay. I guess they don't have a long service leave or other things. The, see, this is the thing when people, uh, when you have a full-time job, you know, what do you get? Probably a month's notice as a professional. You know, it's not that much. The mood is pretty hopeless right now, especially among people who are single earners or a big financial burden such as loan to pay, he added. That would suck, actually, if you were uh, in this position. Say one of the Sydney guys, you know, you had a big mortgage for your home or your apartment, you know, that you may not be able to live in because it's crumbling and you lost your job. I hope, I hope, I really hope it's not one of those people. Deutsche spokesman in Hong Kong and London declined to comment on specific details about the number of departures but said they would try to support people being made redundant. For those losing their jobs and equities, finding a, a new one could prove difficult, with the industry still grappling with high costs from, from European, new European regulations on share trading. Well, there you go. It's interesting, I've noticed Com Comsec have removed their CFD platform. I wonder if that's a similar reasoning behind it. If anyone knows a bit more, please explain to me why that's happening in the comments. I've kind of haven't dabbled much in the equity sector and I'm only starting to to uh, touch tip my toe into the water again it's been a while when did uh, when did Woolies go up from its initial IPO value to like $80 that's insane what's happened ah, it's good coffee even when it's cold the job market in equities is going to be very tough said George Kuznetsov head of research and analytics at Coalition which analyzes the investment banking industry our expectations is for equity sales and trading revenue falling 7 to 8% this year. And that, of course, is going to put a lot of halts into hiring across most brokers. There was some relief for Deutsche Bank staff whose jobs are safe for now, but also big doubts about the future. I guess, but would you trust it? The big question for us is, where do we go from here? If we don't, get off, if we don't offer the whole suite of products, Will clients stick with us or is it game over? Said a Singapore banker who remains at his job. That's an interesting point too. You know, do people want it all with the one provider or do they want to get their financial services with other other providers? There are some advantages to having it all in one provider, but then there's also very big disadvantages and potential risks. Deutsche Bank has operated in Australia since 1973. In Australia, the bank provides services across corporate finance, equities, fixed income, currencies, and global transaction banking. Deutsche's website said its Sydney office had 700 people and it's one of its four hubs, including Hong Kong, Singapore, and Tokyo in the Asia Pacific region. So there you go. We're having cuts, significant cuts, to a big international bank. 18,000 staff are going. 18,000. So how is this going to affect the Australian banking sector, are we going to see more of this happening everywhere else? You know, I feel sorry for these people that are losing their jobs. I really do. It, it, it always sucks. It, it's not fun losing your job, guys. Uh, if, if in the rare circumstance that someone happens to be watching this video who's lost their job, best of luck to you. Go have a beer. You know, it'll all be good in the end. It always is. You know, it may look bleak, but, you know, what's the worst that could happen? You lose some stuff. Yeah. You know, material possessions. You can always re-get them later. Don't worry. It'll be cheaper next time. But it is gut-wrenching. I understand that. Guys, do you think this is a sign of the times? 
Do you think this is what's happening in uh, the banking sector and the equity sector? Are there going to be more and more cuts? Are there going to be more and more cuts? You know, maybe the RBA should cut a few people for making some mistakes. Let me know what you'll think about that. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to do this quick video just to, to let everyone know about it and just to talk about it, really, because, you know, I think that's that's big news. Big news. Anyway, take care. Like, share and subscribe. Ding the bell to see my daily updates and I'll see you later. Bye for now.